So today I'll be making my dream build for NBA 2K25 before the game even comes out, predicting what I think the meta build will be next year, as well as letting you guys know some new information that 2K released and giving my opinion on the game. Hey guys. Hey guys. Alright, so before we start today's video, I just gotta say something. If y'all don't wanna hear me yet for like a minute and a half, y'all can skip to the timestamp on the screen right now. If you're wondering where I've been, then you might wanna listen to this. But if you don't, you could just skip to the timestamp of the video. That's when I start making my build. But anyways, if you are familiar with my channel or if you've been watching my videos or you've watched my videos before, I haven't posted in a while. My last video I posted was a GTA RP video and it was on May 18th of 2024. The day I'm recording this right now, it is August 13th, 2024, meaning it's been 87 days since I last uploaded a video. And you might be asking why? And to be honest, I just wasn't having fun playing 2K or making videos in general. I feel like I was like forcing myself to record only 2K videos, but when I branched out to other games, like GTA, as you can see, I posted a GTA RP video. I didn't have fun making those videos either. I, I don't know what it was. I, I don't know if I had to take a break. I don't know if I was just tired. I don't know what it was. So with NBA 2K25 releasing within the next month, I will be making my return back to YouTube. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. And I will try my hardest to be consistent this year with posting 2K25 videos. Hopefully the game is better because if it sucks, then I'm, I might be cooked. But anyways, sorry for not posting for literally almost 100 days. If you guys actually enjoyed my videos and watched them and you're back watching this video, I want to say thank you for sticking with me while I haven't posted in like three years. And hopefully I could get back into making videos again when 2K25 comes around. And like I said before, hopefully the game is better and hopefully I have fun on the game again. Um, But yeah, we are still on the road to 3000 subs. Uh, I actually gained more subs not posting than I were to actually posting. I don't know how that happened. I think one of my shorts is going crazy. Shout out to everybody who supported my videos while I wasn't here. And shout out to everybody who subbed. We're still on the road to 3000 subs. So if you enjoy this video or you're excited for the 2K25 videos, uh, subscribe because we're gonna be posting a lot on 2K25, I promise you guys. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into my dream build for NBA 2K25. All right, to start off with the build, we're going to obviously create our own build. Also, if you hear any weird noise in the background, my PC is very loud. I don't know what happened to it, but it's very loud. It sounds like that John's about to take off. It's all right, we're gonna create our own build and my controller disconnected. Obviously, Eddie Eddie, right? Right-handed, jersey number. We don't 31. Let's press continue for our build. I'm obviously gonna go with the point guard. Come on. Uh, we're gonna go 6'2 for the height and for the weight. I wanna go. I feel like we should go low as possible, right? If we're a guard, we don't wanna be no stamina, right? And the wingspan, I'm gonna go. I'm looking at my S tier badges for real because I know there's a lot of other badges I can get. I could get Hall of Fame Green Machine, you know, all these other badges. If I keep it at 6'5, I can get my glove at Hall of Fame. As you guys do know though, if you if you saw any of the recent updates or announcements for 2K25, there is a new badge level and it's called Legend, which is above Hall of Fame. That's crazy. That's gonna that's gonna be crazy. I don't know. I'm gonna put like all my shooting badges on legend. I'm about to be shooting like other side of the court. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go six four just so I get my um just so I get my what is that agent three to Hall of Fame. But outside of that, I don't think it really makes a difference. It does affect my three point shot a little bit, but I won't be going that high. And it affects my steal and my driving dunk. And be honest, I'm not going that high on those. So we're gonna press continue and we're here in the builder finally. But I gotta let y'all know that the 2K25 upgrades are very different from the 2K24 upgrade. Shout out to my guy XODF. I saw his TikTok. He put the total attribute upgrades for each category from 2K25 compared to 2K24. And 2K25 had 1,481 total upgrades, while NBA 2K24 had 1,337 upgrade, which pretty much means we have over a hundred more available attribute upgrades on NBA 2K25 compared to NBA 2K24. Also on NBA 2K25, we do not have acceleration next year and we do not have stamina, meaning we get our stamina and acceleration from doing Gatorade workouts. I'm pretty sure. I think you can upgrade it by eight a week and you start at an 85. So if we do some easy math here, it's gonna take you two weeks to to get a 99 stamina and once you get 99 stamina you cannot go under so pretty much once you get 99 stamina or whatever how much stamina you want you cannot lose that you always stay at 99 stamina that's what i heard we have less things to upgrade next year and also we have more attribute upgrades so 
I mean, I think we're gonna have a better builder next year. Also, if you saw in the screenshot of the builder, the height of the build was 6'2". I think or they might be hinting at some smaller guards being better next year. I know you guys always talk about the 6'8", 6'7", 6'9". Definitely snitching. Whatever, whatever guard y'all be making. 6'2", I think will be a good height this year. 6'2", 6'1", smaller guard builds because one of the badges called Mini Marksman is a shooting badge which elevates the likelihood of making shots over taller defenders, meaning shorter builds can shoot over taller defenders. If y'all get what I'm saying. Uh, I think that used to be a thing in like 2K20. I'm not saying a badge. I'm just saying I think like it was more likely to do that in 2K20. And if they're bringing that back, I feel like short guards are going to be very overpowered. And uh, I'm excited to see what's going on next year as well. I'm excited to see if they're overpowered or not. And to be honest with you guys, I think that 6-2 guards and shorter guards are going to be the meta build next year for any sort of guard build. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I feel like this will be a good build. But to start it all off, we're going to start by upgrading my three-point shot. At the time of recording this video, they did not give out the requirements for any sort of jump shots or dribble moves. So we're going to be basing them on NBA 2K24's attribute upgrades. So to start it off, the three-point shot, I think I'm going to with the 92 i made a very bad decision this year to keep it only at a 90 just because i wasn't able to get steph curry and if you guys didn't know i didn't hit ss3 so i didn't get patty mill and uh to be honest i think steph curry would have helped me out a lot with a variety of different jump shots using that base and just to be better at shooting overall so we're gonna upgrade my three-point shot to a 92 so we're at a 92 it brings our mid-range up to a 77 we won't be touching that my free throw at a 67 which we won't be touching next we're going down to the ball handle and like i said this year if you wanted all the ball handling dribble moves all that you needed a 95 ball handle so we're going to be upgrading my ball handle to a 95 also i'm gonna let you guys know this right now just so i don't forget to say it later speed with ball we are also going to be upgrading in a second but i learned that your speed is not how fast you move with the ball this year, it is speed with ball. So in the past years, meaning this year, it was acceleration and speed, which made you move fast around the court and speed with ball helped it out just for your dribble moves. But next year, we are going to be using speed with ball to make us run faster around the court. I'm pretty sure that's what I've heard. I mean, you could say it was the same for this year. Obviously you need speed with ball to run around faster with the ball, but I think that this will work better next year than it did this year and speed might play a little part in that not too much but with speed with ball the minimum requirement we need i think was 91 this year i don't know what dribble move it was for but for the good ones i'm pretty sure i put 91 on my first build as well and if i need 91 speed with ball i'm i'm gonna get 91 speed with ball so we're gonna upgrade it from an 80 to a 91 now that we got our ball handling and three point shot out the way we are at a 90 out of 99 overall so we don't have much to go but by the looks of it i added up all of the attributes attributes that we upgraded and we have used 615 attributes out of around I guess our estimate is 1,300 and to be honest with you next year we are going to have around 1,500 attribute upgrades so I'm going to be getting a lot less on this build, but stuff that I won't be taking into consideration this year, acceleration and stamina, I will not be upgrading them on this build because I will be upgrading them in the Gatorade facility next year. So my stamina is going to stay at a 57. You might be wondering why. It's because I won't be using that next year and uh, we could use the attributes somewhere else. So I want this build to obviously be able to dribble the ball around very nicely and to shoot very nicely, which we already did. And I also want it to be able to dunk. I want this every year i love to dunk the ball whenever i can i also like to get contacts on any guard build i've also gotten a couple nice contact dunks on the build that i have this year and uh i have an 87 driving dunk and i think that's what i'm gonna do so we're gonna upgrade my driving dunk to an 87 i know we're getting out of control here we up four overalls that's all right but it's all right next we gotta go all the way down to the vertical created to a 75 because that's what we need for the driving dunk and after that we're done right we're, we're done with the with all the attributes on score next we're going to move to our defense and to be honest i want some perimeter defense because this year Year I had like none and uh I was getting cooked so I'm gonna upgrade my perimeter defense a little bit I I'm gonna say to like a 70 I think 70 is not even bad for a perimeter defense on a guard that's actually very good uh I don't need block I'm not jumping offensive rebound defensive rebound that's why I got a big right and still I might want to upgrade but before we do that I want to upgrade other things first I want to upgrade my speed first. I know you're probably wondering, yo, yeah, you just said speed with ball. That's the only thing that matters. But to be honest with you, I'm going to upgrade speed. So we're going to upgrade it to a 95. And that's all we can upgrade it to. And for the steel, I will be upgrading it until I can't, which is 36. 
So as of right now, I, I want to change something. I don't know what it is, but I calculated all of the numbers again, and we are at 1,162 attribute upgrade, meaning that we are 200 underneath compared to the build that XODF made. That was the same exact one from the NBA 2K25 trailer or Elite, and uh, it looks like we're getting scammed here. So to be honest, I know that I said I want perimeter defense on this build, but a 70, I don't even get clamped. So to be honest, I'm going to put it down to, uh, we're going to put it at a 60 but but then it it did and then it took oh my goodness i can't even speak it took down my speed i need to upgrade my speed again so i guess we're gonna keep my perimeter defense at a 65 and we're going to upgrade my steel just a little bit just a little bit more come on, come on. we're at a 43 steel to be honest you know what you know i don't play defense on this game you know i'm horrible at defense so why does it matter i i don't know but um i guess that's all right for my defense it's a small guard build i mean we don't have defense anyway and i guess i gotta upgrade one more thing free throw standing dunk post control what do i look like i'm not st i'm not standing dunk on this build we're going free throw to a 69 and we still have room so i guess we're gonna upgrade the standing and yeah I, I i mean i guess that's my dream build this is what we're looking at right now you know very good finishing nice shooting nice playmaking obviously the defense is nowhere to be found and all the upgrades down here for speed acceleration strength all that i, I really wish i could upgrade things and other things don't upgrade because my acceleration is taking up way too much i don't have to upgrade that next year and my stamina is taking up a good amount and i don't have to upgrade that next year either but it's all right next year i will have a lot more room to you know upgrade more things so um obviously day one i'm making the meta build i'm making a great guard build so if you guys are excited for that or you want to see that let me know because I'll, I'll post it when is it two days before because if i pre-order the game i think i get two days early or something like that uh, i'm gonna be spam posting you guys are gonna see face creation video first day build video first day jump shot video very soon after that all that stuff but yeah this is my dream nba 2k25 build as what i can make on nba 2k24 i know i would probably want to make it a little different but we don't even have the game out yet no demo is being released this year as of what i know so um yeah we're gonna press continue also if you guys didn't know there is a new takeover in the game next year there's a bunch of new takeovers it's a whole different system i don't even know how that works i'm gonna have to look more into that i could put a screenshot on the screen right now though of what they showed they got one called like barbecue chicken like i don't know are we is this like a food simulator game i'm not really sure but um it, it looks pretty interesting to me and uh yeah we got shades of damian lillard so you know this build's about to be fire you lying yeah we got a floor spacing slasher which is my build right now it's probably gonna be around the same next year because you know I, li I like to i like to dunk if i didn't like to dunk i could probably put more on defense or even more on shooting i don't think i need more on shooting um but i could and it could just be a three-point shot hunter but yeah floor spacing slasher not bad and uh yeah without further ado let's get into some more details about nba 2k25 all right to start off with the new 2k25 news Picking up where I literally just said before, I'm going to talk about TakeOver real quick. 2K has now released that we have 72 new TakeOvers for 2K25. A lot of the TakeOver looks a lot different this year. Obviously, we have levels to take over. I'm not sure how you earn all five levels yet, but I'm pretty sure you unlock it by getting the level, what is it, level three TakeOver in a certain amount of games. And then once you get level four, you got to get level four in a certain amount of games, stuff like that. And what I've learned is each TakeOver that you choose, it has a requirement to your build. And if you have it unlocked and you unlock all of the levels, you add plus five to certain attributes. As of right here, I have a little screenshot of level four, and it says plus four close shot, plus four post control, and plus four strength. I'm thinking that this could be pro possibly for a big build, probably. I think this is the one that is, uh, what is it, barbecue chicken, I'm pretty sure. I'm not even lying. And uh, it says right here, achieving th level three takeover in 10 games. So I'm pretty sure once you hit level four, you got to do that a certain amount of times to hit level five. And progress is shared among saves, meaning that you can do this at any time. As you can see at the bottom of my screenshot, I'm on Instagram right now. It says 80 close shot and the person has a 93. And what I, I can't see anything. The mute button is in the way. But I'm guessing you got to have requirements for each takeover. You can see right here we have board beast, eraser, horse. These are the ones that I could see right now. I'll probably put a full picture on the screen so you guys could see all of them. But yeah, takeover is going to be very different this year. I guess you're going to pick one of these and you're going to work towards getting it to level five and then you could use them in game. But yeah, with takeover out of the way, we're going to be moving on to something I said before as well. Got legend badges. I showed a picture on the screen before, but these are actually higher than Hall of Fame. And I'm pretty sure you unlock them by getting a certain attribute upgrade on your build. Meaning in this screenshot right here from 2K themselves, it says 94 speed with ball and it is on red, pretty much legend. Just like I said before, speed with ball, I think it's going to be very important 
important next year. We have 94 speed with ball. If you want legend lightning launch, which is pretty much, what is that? The, the badge that makes you cut to the basket easier or faster. I forgot what that badge is called. It's in the game right now. It's probably like quick step or something. I don't, I don't know. Also, once you get to a certain badge, do not go down. Meaning your badge level does not decrease if you do bad in the game or if something happens like it did this year, it will stay at that certain level for the whole year. Also something pretty cool that I wanted to share with you guys. My court is back. We were actually told in one of the newsletters, you can jersey swap with people in my career. And then you are able to put your jersey that you got from them in your my court. Meaning this would be very similar to the my court that we had in you know 2k20 2k21 where the jerseys were on the wall there are no pictures or video proof of the my court or what it looks like but we were told by a 2k dev that it is coming back this year for next gen and current gen so i'm excited because next gen has only had the gatorade facility for the past what like three years and honestly this is a very big step to you know learning how to dribble in the my court i feel like it's going to be way easier to learn how to dribble and it's going to be very convenient for a lot of players next year all right we're going to be moving on to more badge information we have no floor setter i know this year we had we earned them through the season pass i'm pretty sure the season pass will probably be back this year and um we will have no floor setter i don't know how to feel about that one to be honest with you i don't have many floor, floor setters so also we have cap breakers in 2k25 meaning throughout the year you can earn rewards to upgrade tops plus five to any attribute you want meaning i can earn cap breakers and add plus five to my three point and i can use those attribute add-ons towards my animation and badges meaning let's say i had an 87 three and i needed a 92 three to get steph curry base which is true i can use five cap breakers and i can get it to a 92 and they'll stay there and i can now earn the steph curry base for my jump shot i can have different animations and it can also help with my badges as well also xp can be earned in my career games meaning for the season pass you can now earn xp and levels throughout my career so to be honest if you don't feel like playing park and you just want to get your season levels up you can literally sit in my career and uh you can get your level i think i'm going to be hitting level 40 every single season if this is the case because i can't be playing against these sweats in the game a new thing that i forgot to talk about is we have agility on the builder i forgot to mention that while making my build and i'm pretty sure that might take acceleration's place so i said that acceleration won't be in the game next year but it did upgrade my acceleration i'm pretty sure that's just agility next year i forgot to mention that i was i was very confused while making the build i'm sorry but agility is now in the game next year and that's pretty much acceleration next year so yeah i forgot to say that while making my build but i just wanted to point that out also real quick i'm going to be putting all the badges on the screen you've probably seen all these badges before if you've been keeping up with the news but if you haven't there's a bunch of new ones some of my favorite like i said before is mini marksman which you could shoot over people we have shifty shooter which is if you were to dribble and you were to shoot a fade or you were to shoot a dribble pull up or just shooting off the dribble is pretty much what is that uh i forgot the I forgot the badge, but it's pretty much in the game. They just renamed it. And Set Shot Specialist is a good one that I like. It's pretty much catch and shoot. Also, something else I wanted to mention, we have a new meter in the game. Surprise, surprise. They have like 40 different meters every year. We have a new green thing. It says excellent right next to your name. And we also have a new dunk meter. It was shown in this clip by Ronnie. It looks a little odd, to be honest with you. I don't even know how you would time that, but I guess it's a new meter. So if y'all want to be dunking, I guess this is what you're going to be using. You can now test animations in the build you could upgrade your build to what you want you could test it like you did this year you could put it to 99 and then you can make custom jump shots and use custom dribble moves and all the stuff you can unlock in the builder so you don't have to wait till you upgrade your build to test it out you don't have to do anything like that i always had trouble testing out my build i'm using like this johnny jump shot that's like default one default two and default three and now you can hit them with the new custom jump shot that you wanted to use and all of the new dribble moves and all that so i mean that's pretty cool i mean it's good because i don't want to be spending my whole life savings on a build and not, not getting any animations that's what i did this year but it's all right i think the game is going to be pretty fun this year also what we found out from 2k there is dynamic shooting i'm pretty sure that's what it's called pretty much you can shoot like your favorite players if you have their jump shot on you can pull the right stick down and then release it upwards as you move the stick up with the rhythm of the shot i i guess that's how we're doing it this year it's, it's right stick shooting people are already saying that zens are going to be in the game next year i'm not too worried about it i lose to people all the time anyway but pretty much able to bring the 
stick down to wind up the jump shot and where as we go within the jump shot as we see it you know as we see the player shoot you can move it with the player and you can become better at shooting and you have a better ability to make it rather than people using the x button i don't know i feel like i gotta make a, a challenge video when the game comes out of me using that and only that i feel like that would be pretty fun i'm gonna probably stick to the x button unless this dynamic or rhythm shooting whatever it's called is like way better then i'll switch to it but if not then i'm just staying with the x shoot. all right so this is a couple of days after i recorded that last clip sorry that it's taking so long to release this video i just found out there's new news i want to add it onto the video so that's my bad so today i'm pretty sure the day i'm recording this was community day and um on the screen right now i'm gonna put a picture of yo that's ej's uh you know community day you know gifts that they get they got a controller they got a jersey which i'm pretty sure says their name on the back um a hoodie community day and they got pins you're probably like yo yeti why are you showing me this random screenshot but if you look at the pins i'm gonna put a picture on the screen like close up of the pins they got a top 10 logo which you know might mean that top 10 is back in the game meaning same rep system they do have elite and rise which a lot of people are saying that it's the same you know same different sides you know rep systems the same they got the 2k logo which is the old one i'm pretty sure they now do creator logos and in the top left i saw people saying on twitter that it might be a new rep or maybe it's you know something else we don't know what that is yet but it's something new coming to the game that wasn't in the game in 2k24 something that i've never seen before I mean, I, I've been playing 2K since when? 2K19? So I, like, I might not be familiar with a lot of the older games that much as other people, but I've never seen that before, to be honest with y'all. Uh, if y'all know what that is, leave, leave a comment down below. But honestly, I don't know what it is, but... I, I think we're going to be getting the same rep back, same affiliations, as well as my team dropped the official like announcement of my team. They released that you can now play my team in like 3v3s. I don't know how this is going to work. This looks very weird. This looks like the park. I don't know if this is from only my team or if it's, I, I don't know if it's for the park or whatever. If we're playing in that city behind that, I, I think we're going to be done, to be honest with y'all. That's like, where, where are we in GTA, dude? But people are saying this is like, this is bringing back the old 2k vibes like 2k16 and all that just pretty much the same park as 2k16 as well as we got as well as we got our player panel we got a 96 allen iverson on there we got on the left i'm pretty sure that might be your rep you're my team rep, maybe? That's what it's showing right there. Uh, we got our level on the right side, I'm pretty sure. This is what I'm thinking because it has a level one on the right-hand side of the banner. So I'm thinking that's the level. I also noticed that they have a king of the court banner panel, whatever you want to call that, the custom ones. Uh, that's like, what is that, 2K19? They had that king of the court event. That was pretty tough. Um, The players look the same. You know, there's nothing new there. Uh, This is obviously on the my team, I guess, island or building or wherever this is located on. Also on my team, the auction house is back. I don't know if you're going to have to unlock it somehow or if it just automatically, you know, is available once you get into the game. If you're a person that plays my team in NBA 2K24, you obviously know that the auction house was not here and they're now bringing it back, which is something they listen to, which is pretty cool. I don't play my team much, but I feel like the auction house is a, it's like a staple. You can't, you can't take out the auction house and have my team. You know what I'm saying? So bringing that back is, is pretty cool. As well as this is another screenshot for the my team. I was on YouTube right here so you can see like the little, little thing in the way the exit full screen pre I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry but you can see season one jason tatum obviously at the top because you know the the cover is jason tatum um this is king of the court event so what i said before this might not be for the you know my career and online but it is on my team if you get i guess top one or one percent i don't know how these uh event rewards work but you get a it looks like a king's crowned player indicator and a green release you get a million vc which is actually crazy and you get the um king banner like we said before i also see this new thing right here it says top 1%, top 10%, top 50%. I know that this isn't my team, but I want to know, is this going to come to, you know, my career and in the city as well for any leaderboard events? Um, But yeah, this looks like this is going to be an event in my team. King of the Court, pretty cool. Everything else looks kind of the same. Like in the top right corner, obviously you can see the my team tokens and the VC, you know, the player name, whatever. But yeah, that's all the updated news. I said all the other news earlier on with this video. Uh, Sorry for taking so long to post this video once again. 
And sorry for posting like a 30 minute video. I'm just yapping the whole video. Hopefully you guys got some new information off that. And let me know what you guys think of NBA 2K25 in the comments down below. But yeah, hopefully the game is good next year. Hopefully they make the game not too realistic and not too arcadey. Just like the older 2K games that were very nice. Like, you know, 2K20 was pretty nice with that. Uh, I feel like that game was very, very fun. Not being stuck, you know, stuck at home or whatever playing the game. But still, the game was fun. If they re-release that game right now, I feel like it would do a lot better than how the company thinks i feel like no i'm not throwing shots at the company or whatever i'm just saying i hope the game is very good this year i hope that it's cheaper to upgrade builds because i have no more money i have no money but uh yeah like i said in the beginning of the video make sure you like the video and subscribe because we are on the road to 3,000 subs also uh i am very excited to start back up again on nba 2k25 and i'm excited to be consistent again because uh you know i've been wanting to come back to youtube but you know the game is just not fun i wasn't having fun on the game i actually played the game for like a good month straight and i was i was having fun like playing with my friends or anything but i didn't record any videos or anything like that i think i just needed to take a break i don't know why i took a, like a, a hundred day break but we're back and uh the next video you guys will see from me will be in nba 2k25 which is what two days before the game comes out so what is it the the fourth when it's coming out the sixth i think the I, i'll probably be posting two days before the game comes out so i'll get it early but yeah thank you guys for watching today's video if you are not yet subscribed and you enjoyed today's video make sure you subscribe and like the video go follow the social media that's here in the description below and yeah i'll see you guys in nba 2k25 god bless